Hey everybody! This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up WordPress to work with PepiPost email delivery service. But first you may ask yourself, why do you even need it in the first place, as WordPress has a built-in mail function. Whether you are using WordPress to deliver newsletters, alerts, or email and workflow notifications, user engagement and action are dependent on high delivery rates. But if you use the built-in mailer in WordPress, even if you are able to successfully send your message, there is a good chance they will be blocked as spam, meaning the recipients will never see them. This is where PepiPost takes place. PepiPost is an email delivery service that allows you to send email messages without setting up complex or expensive mail servers yourself. At the time of making this video guide, PepiPost free plan allows up to 25,000 email messages per month, which I think is very impressive. In this tutorial, we will create a PepiPost account, configure mail delivery options, and integrate WordPress with PepiPost. So, first things first, let's click on the Sign Up Today button to create our account. We need to enter our email address and to choose a username. Then we need to choose and verify a password and to set up an email sending domain. In my case, I will type mail.thegeneralistit.com. Invitation codes give you access to some benefits as priority technical service, dedicated technical account manager, free dedicated IP, and more. If you have an invitation code, type it in here now. If you don't already have an invitation code, then look for instructions below this video on how to receive an invitation code Next, complete the CAPTCHA challenge and click sign up. As you can see, PepiPost sends a confirmation email to our mailbox. We need to click on the confirmation link to activate our account. And as we see the message, you can now happily log in. It means that our account is ready. So let's do just that and log in. The second step is to validate our domain with PepiPost. This step is required to make sure that no one abuses the system. The process is quite simple. All you have to do is to add a couple of text records to your domain that validate that you own it. Let's click on Add Domain. And here we can see the domain that we have registered when setting up the account. Domain verification is mandatory, but depending on your current domain settings, you may also be required to validate your SPF service. This service, or record, is used to prevent spammers from sending messages from your domain. The value that you need to add to your DNS in order to verify your domain can be found here if you click on the Verify Text link. What you need to do is to copy this long string and paste it in your domain editor. My DNS is managed at Cloudflare, so I'm going to use Cloudflare's DNS console to add a text record with my domain name, mail.thegeneralistit.com with PepiPost verification value. As you can see, the record has been successfully added. Now let's go back to PepiPost dashboard and click on Verify Domain. Adding an SPF validation in case you need it is also very simple. All you need to do is click here on the question mark and scroll down a little bit until you see this string that you need to add to your DNS. Then copy it and go back to your DNS manager. Add another text record, again pointing to your domain with the value you just copied. Click save and add record and that's it. Now all you have to do is to wait for a while until your domain is approved. This usually takes several hours, but back at our PepiPost dashboard, if you see the fast track approval link, you can click it to speed up the process. You will be required to answer a few questions and submit templates for review, but it may speed things up for you. I have actually went through with the fast track approval process, and after completing the required steps, you can now see that the approval time has been reduced to three hours. I'll pause the video now, and come back when my domain is approved for the last step of this tutorial, integrating PepiPost with WordPress. I 
I'm back and my domain is now approved. Using the fast track approval, my domain was actually approved in another 20 minutes, which is really, really great. And basically, we can start using Peppy Post right now. But if we do that, notifications will be delivered as Peppy Post on behalf of our domain. In order to avoid that, we need to add one more record to our domain called envelope. To do that, log in to your Peppy Post dashboard and click on Domain Management. Then click on the gear sign under your domain. At the bottom, you'll see a section called Costume Envelope Domain. What you would like to do is to copy the name listed here in step one and go back to your DNS manager. Then create a CNAME record with that name. So simply paste it. The, the target or the main name will be the second string listed here. So again, copy and paste it here and add the record. Now again, this may look a bit different on your own editor, but the process is the same. And now for the next step, we need to create a new text record with the name listed here. Again, copy and paste. And the value that is listed here, you need to copy both lines, okay? Make sure that you copy everything. Copy and paste. And again, add record. And now we go back to Peppy Post dashboard. We click on CNM Verify and DKIM Verify. It may take some time for the records to update, so if you can't get a confirmation on your first attempt, just wait for a minute or two and then try again. Now that both records are validated, click Save and wait for further instructions from PepiPost. Now it's time to integrate PepiPost with WordPress. Let's switch back to the WordPress admin dashboard. I personally use the WP Mail SMTP plugin, which gives you great access to WordPress email settings. The settings are accessible from the settings email. Make sure that the domain at the top matches the one set up in your PepiPost account. And choose the second option, use PepiPost. Type in your PepiPost username and password and change the SMTP port to 587. PepiPost uses no encryption, so all you need to do now is save your settings, then scroll down and send a test email. And as you can see here, the email is sent successfully. And it is also arrived at our mailbox without being blocked as spam. That's it. We now have successfully configured a reliable email delivery system for our WordPress application. If you're interested in an invitation code for PepiPost, follow the instructions below this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.